In this video, I'm going to show you how to sideload your official BIOS files onto a Polymega console. So one of the biggest benefits of the Polymega is its ease of use. You don't have to load BIOS files in, you can just put your games in and start playing. It's awesome and really great how simple it is. And while the Polymega team has worked really hard on making their replacement BIOSes... BIOS... is... I, I don't care... Um, as accurate as possible, great game compatibility, there might still be an outlier here or there where loading in the official BIOS can fix it. I haven't been able to find such a game in my own personal testing as of yet, but I want to show you this process anyway. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is to source BIOS files for your various systems. So, for example, I have a Sega CD BIOS here. It needs to be named BIOS underscore CD underscore U dot bin. If you have Japanese games, it needs to be BIOS underscore CD underscore J dot bin. And PAL region needs to be BIOS underscore CD underscore E dot bin. And for Sega Saturn, you need to have it named MPR-17933 dot bin. And then for PlayStation, you need SCPH5500 for Japanese, SCPH5501 for US, SCPH5502 for Europe. And then for TurboGrafx CD, PC Engine CD, you need to have the SystemCard3.pce file. I do have videos on my channel showing you how to dump a few of these files. Or alternatively, you know, you can resort to the shady parts of the net, but I'm never going to be providing download links on my channel, so I will not be giving those to you. Sorry. Now the next thing we need to do is... Insert our storage device that we're using on the Polymega console. This could be your SD card or a USB drive. So for my example, I'm going to be using an SD card. I have the SD card already placed on my computer. So here we go. So if you go into the user data folder, you can see all of your game installs. They're all encrypted in this RBXB format. But that's besides the point. So on the root of your SD card, there we go. Root of your SD card, we're going to make a new folder. And we're going to name it BIOS, just all lowercase, BIOS. And we're just going to drag all of these files right inside. There we go. And now that those are placed, we can just go ahead and close out of everything on the computer, take our storage device out, plug it back into our Polymega. Now back over on your Polymega system, when you begin booting up your games, they're going to be using those official BIOS files instead of the built-in ones. Now, unfortunately, I had hoped that this would result in getting, like, the PlayStation startup screen instead of it just booting directly into the game, but that does not appear to be the case. It still just boots directly into the games. And this is also the same result we get on Sega Saturn. It just boots directly into the game. Sega CD, however... does boot into its original Sega CD BIOS, which is really fun. <laughs> PC Engine also displays its original Super CD-ROM BIOS startup screen as well. So, a really cool option just to help out with any outlying compatibility issues, as well as to get a more authentic experience on a couple of these systems. I'm hoping that one day we might be able to see an update that will make it so we can see the PlayStation and Saturn BIOS intros as well if we sideload those in, because that would be amazing for authenticity in my opinion. But even still, having it for Sega CD and PC Engine is pretty cool. And just as a side note, you can load in an official Neo Geo CD BIOS file as well, but I do not have one of those to demonstrate today. I mainly use the Universe BIOS when it comes to Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD stuff, so I'm not quite sure how to format that to work on the Polymega as of this video. I'll be sure to release an update if and when I figure that process out. But that's going to do it for this one. I hope those of you that are looking to sideload your own official BIOS files onto the Polymega find this tutorial helpful and or interesting. But big thank you for checking it out regardless. Every little bit of watch time really helps our channel out and I'm just super grateful to all of you for that. But now, I do have a couple of huge favors to ask of you. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, just depending on how much you like today's tutorial. And if you haven't already, hit that sub button so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Lots of stuff coming your way, and just happy to have everyone along for the ride. Now, for those of you that might be interested in further helping along the channel, there is a join button here on YouTube or Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. 
Little goes a long way to keeping us up and running, and we're just super grateful to all of our current champions. Y'all have believed in what we are doing for so long now, it's amazing. Thank you for being our rock stars. We cannot just ever thank you enough. But that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, and we will see you back next video.